on this computer. Okay, my goal is uh, to spend about 20 minutes for this session and then uh, maybe 20 minutes if, or half an hour for discussion, comments, yeah? Okay, uh, first I'd like to say that this presentation or this content is created for uh, a new guest, someone who, 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 who you, you invite as a friend or from the streets, you know? Uh, so we, one of the most fundamental questions that we face, I believe is who are we, you know? And for many young people today, they are faced with the question, well, I didn't ask to be born, you know? I have no choice. <laughs> so the fact that I'm born means I'm, I'm really, uh, you know, faced with uh, this anxiety, you know? That kind of understanding is very common uh, with this generation of uh, uh, youth and young people. So I would say that the most essential character of man answering the question of who am I is most essential character of each one of us is our heart. Yeah? Uh, that's according to divine principle. So this morning, I would like to talk about the original expression of the heart so that we can come to understand what heart really is. Put it in simple terms, heart is the inner mind of each one of us. And for most of us, our heart is either underdeveloped or, or worse still, <laughs> corrupted. So I will talk about the original expression of the heart, uh, which I believe that every one of us, you know, whether it's undeveloped or corrupted, have some spark of that original heart that, uh, that uh, man originally uh, were blessed with, okay? And I'll start with uh, shame the original expression of the heart based on shame. Now, shame is something that comes from the heart. So if we do something wrong or we hurt someone, the first thing that comes to mind or to our heart is we feel ashamed. We feel shameful. But if we ask ourselves, if we hurt someone and we don't know that we hurt that person, how can we feel shameful? <laughs> this is the problem. The reason is because our heart is corrupted or we never develop this heart of ours of shame, you know? And there is one shame that I like to... Uh, uh, talk about and introduce, that is when a father or a mother or a parent love his or her children, and if the father and mother have expectation, then uh, we have issues, right? <laughs> but God's love or original love is, even though he loved with all his heart, with all his mind, with all his soul, he feels that his love is not enough. He still wants to love some more. That is the uh, original shame. You could also define it as the standard of what true love is. So original, Shame is very different from the other shame that we talk about, that we do something wrong and we don't feel 
shameful. Now, let me ask you, uh, if someone wronged you, if someone hurt you, have you experienced shame on behalf of that person? Most of us will say, hmm, I don't think so. <laughs> if someone wronged me or someone hurt me, normally I'll hit back, right? Don't talk about being ashamed on the person's behalf. Very difficult to... Uh, so in this sense, we can see that we do not have this original expression of shame anymore. You know? This original shame, somehow, either is not developed or we are already corrupted to a point where we don't have this shame. You know? Well, man is supposed to be, when you are young, we naturally feel that when we are naked, we feel ashamed, right? <laughs> but as we grow up, I don't know whether babies today feel ashamed of their nakedness anymore. <laughs> but I still think so. Uh, but as you grow up, uh, people tend to, you know, we, we don't have this shame even of our physical nakedness, you know, not to mention about shame of uh, our inner mind, our inner heart, you know. So, however, so how do we, how do we bring back or develop this shame uh, that we were originally blessed with, that we have? Because heart is the original, is most essential character of us. So if we don't have this shame, don't you think that that's the reason why relationship becomes very difficult? Because when we relate to someone, when we love someone and we receive love from someone, we have to have this heart of shame. Otherwise, when we love someone and the person doesn't respond to our love, we immediately feel very hurt. And most of us will feel very resentful towards that person, right? Or if our parents didn't love us, you know? If we cannot feel ashamed on behalf of my parents, then we would also develop resentment as well. So shame becomes very, very important expression of our heart that we somehow either did not develop or have become corrupted. Next, I want to move to us another expression of the heart that uh, is also very important. And that is smile and laughter. Now it's much easier to talk about smile and laughter. Can we laugh when we are in pain and in suffering caused by others or caused by myself? <laughs> So if we can laugh inside, not laugh at that person, laugh inside that, hey, maybe this person's uh, hurt and pain that is giving me, I need it so that I can develop my heart, you know, that I don't take personally any kind of bad feelings that may come because this person hurt me. So don't you think this laughter is then very important? I grew up with Reader's Digest and always there's a section, laughter is the best medicine, right? And Americans uh, really uh, understand what laughter is in some way, you know? <laughs> but it can go with the other extent that you laugh at everything and everyone. <laughs> that doesn't help also. <laughs> but when we smile and laugh, in spite of the fact that we are in pain and suffering caused by others, and we accept that we need that kind of pain and suffering because it develops our character, then don't you think that that would uh, really uh, put the burden 
of responsibility on me rather on the other person. We will not blame the other person for whatever pain and suffering that we may go through in life. Yeah? Unfortunately, when we love someone or we want to receive love, pain and suffering is, comes along with it. You cannot, you cannot separate pain and suffering from love. <laughs> you know, you cannot, you know. So in this sense, smile and laughter is also very, very important uh, to have. So I, I'm going to share about uh, the example I gave uh, before when I talked to all of you. Uh, I had a grand, my grand, first grandson was born three years ago, so I visited him when he was three weeks old. And of course, I prayed uh, over the nine months before he was born. And so when I first met him at, when he was three weeks old, in my heart, I said, hmm, I'm going to communicate with him heart to heart because there's no other way to communicate to a three weeks old baby, is there? And I always believe that the nine months that the baby is in the mother's womb, the baby is learning to communicate through the heart. Because, because that is the essential character of man. So I, in my heart, I greeted him when I first met him, you know. I greeted him, I say hello in my heart to, the, to, to, to my grandson. And he gave me a smile, you know. So I realized, wow, heart-to-heart uh, -heart communication works. When I say that to my daughter, who has been taking care of the her baby, her, her, my grandson? She must be wondering you know, all this while my 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 baby has not even smiled to me, and you just came and he smiled to you. <laughs> so anyway, there was another occasion that I communicated with him. Uh, he was lying down in some kind of a you know rocking chair or a crib, and then I and then I communicated with him, and he smiled again. So it's not an accident. You know, the third time was just before I left. I said to him, I, I, goodbye uh, from my heart. I said, goodbye. I don't know when I'm going to see you, but, you know, I hope you take care of yourself. And he gave me my, a, a goodbye smile, okay? So from then on, I re recognized that smile is the original expression of the heart, you know? And smile is not something you have to think about and then, you know, all this original expression is not something you think about and then you do it. No. If it is from the heart, it comes. Smile, laugh, you know, shame. It, it's, it comes naturally, you know. So if we don't smile and we don't laugh in our life, life becomes very, very uh, uh, sad and we become very depressed. So all the depression and anxiety and depression comes from the fact that our, we, we never allow our regional heart to express it, itself, you know, in our relationship with one another. Yeah. The next expression of heart is tears. Tears. Now that's a little bit more difficult, right? I grew up with the understanding that to be a man, you mustn't shed tears. If you shed tears, you're not a man, even as a kid, you know? Women tend to be very different. They shed tears on every occasion. <laughs> that's the other, other extreme, you know? Uh, in that sense, uh, women, uh, you know, have a uh, capacity to deal with problems and struggles even more. Uh, not to say that women don't go through difficulties as well, uh, but tears. No, have you experienced that if you meet someone or the mere mention of a person's name, just tears, we just have tears. You know? Or you listen to someone praying, 
I just had an experience a few days ago, you know. I just listen to the prayer. It's not the content, but it is the heart that is communicated. You just shed tears. So tears comes from our heart. You know? It's not from our brain. <laughs> it's not that, oh, I, 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 need to, I need to cry, you know? No, if, you, if, if your heart doesn't want to cry, you cannot cry. Chinese have a professional uh, crier in the funeral. They are paid to cry on behalf of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the profession that, uh, uh, in terms of laughter, I forgot to mention this example. You know, the, pro the profession that suffers the most, that has most mental illness, you know what? Comedian. Because their, 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 their job is to make people laugh. <laughs> and because of that, they, they have the highest incidence of, uh, uh, <laughs> of mental disease because basically our heart is so uh, corrupted or not developed to a point that it's very hard for us to laugh. So uh, comedians usually have very high uh, mental illness problem. <laughs> So anyway, uh, this original expression of the heart, deep inside us, all of us have this capacity to express from our heart. It's just that it is either not developed or corrupted. So if it is corrupted, we need to obviously have some way to bring back that original expression of the heart that we, we are meant to have, yeah? I briefly mentioned other expression of heart that, uh, that I did not mention in my talk with all of you. One is purity, purity of heart. It's a very uh, original expression of the heart. Uh, if you go by the Bible, Eve said, not only must you not eat of it, you mustn't touch it, you know? So this purity is so much from our heart, you know, purity. The Bible said that those who are pure in heart can see God. So we cannot see God because we don't have the purity of heart. The other expression of the heart is filial. We never really developed this filial heart, but there's some aspect of the filial piety that is in Adam and Eve. So Eve was told that you know, if you eat of the fruit, you become like God. So she was aware that from her heart that she wanted to be like God, like her par heavenly parent. That is a small expression of the filial heart that she had. Isn't that so? Hmm? So purity, filial heart. Also, is the original expression. And finally, a very important expression of the heart, which is, could also be heart itself, is conscience. Conscience. Yeah, today, after the fall, we say that Adam and Eve was gripped by pangs of conscience. But today we can hurt someone or we can hurt ourselves, but our conscience is silent. Silence completely. So this is the sadness 
that heaven feels about us because we lost or we our conscience is clouded. Okay, clouded. So how how can we then awaken this original expression of the heart? Obviously, we feel that there must be a way to awaken this heart that we have because this is the most essential character of us. And our character is determined by how much we try to bring about this original expression of the heart. And it is a lifelong effort, but we have to start somewhere. Otherwise, we can never feel liberated. We cannot liberate ourselves, we cannot liberate others. And we, are, we live in, in, in depression, and we don't even know how to get out of it. You know? So anyway, uh, I only encourage you that if you feel in your heart that these are very essential aspect of your heart that uh, we have spoken about, that you long to have this heart to come alive, uh, come back and we, we, we believe that uh, we have a way that we can awaken our heart, you know? And this original expression of the heart that we talk about this moment. Thank you. So that is the presentation. Uh, it's for everybody, you know, because I feel that uh, now I feel that everyone has some kind of their heart, you know, large. In measure or small measure, of course, depends on our ancestors, also depends on our upbringing and what we have done in our life. But it's something that can, we, can, we can touch and move people in some way, you know, because we are talking about original mind, which is, you know, the inner mind of all of us. You know? And After we talk about this and people say, yeah, I'm interested to come back. You have succeeded in your presentation, okay? <laughs> so what is then the process for which we can get them to uh, is, we talk about these various aspects of the original expression of heart, hundeke, but of course we don't say hundeke, okay? Again, 20 minutes the most, you select, or, or, or 15 minutes, you select a number of uh, words on say shame, you know, you know, and share, but father's words, okay? It has to be father's words, and you have to give credit to uh, true parents, okay? Give credit, this is father's words. I'm sharing with you, you don't have to say it's true father's word, it's from Dr. Hart Gahan Moon, or you, this is from uh, Dr. Sanya Moon, or Reverend Samya Moon, and then you quote. And then I believe that father's words is the only way to awaken this original heart of ours. So how many sessions you want to have with this aspect, this series of awakening our uh, our heart, inner heart. This is really up to you. Each maybe each person may be very different, but this is to make them understand that they have the capacity to express this heart. Because why? That is most essential character of man. That's who he is. You know. 
So the approach is basically all of us are suffering. All of us are pain. How to take care of that situation that they are in? Bring out something that is original in them, that they can feel to give them hope, you know? Make them feel a little bit, you know, their original heart that they have. And then move on to the second series, which is restoration of heart. The how to deal with our corrupted heart, how to deal with our clouded conscience. This approach, I believe. And finally, of course, you have to ask, you have to let them know if you want to fundamentally change the realm of heart of Satan to the realm of heart of God. It is true, marriage blessing. There's no other way. But that is towards the end, the end series, you know? And then, they will, from after which, they will be able to accept true parents because they have been listening to true parents' work to help them awaken their heart and uh, deal with your corrupted heart. How to subjugate Satan. This is, uh, I, I believe, uh, the way to go uh, because we deal with heart essentially, because we say that heart is our most essential character. <laughs> so, truth has to change that, has to awaken the heart and change our corrupted heart. Comment. You can criticize as much as you want. I, I, I welcome criticism. <laughs> Anybody? If not, I'll go first. Go ahead, who's this? I joined the church, or at least I received the divine principle in 1997. So when I joined that church, when I joined, it was a very hopeful time with a lot of, like I say, like the original, ideal of creation inspired me a lot. Uh, I didn't, how would I say? I didn't really understand about like fallen, you know, state that I'm in. I was not so aware of that or not so, I couldn't see myself. Uh, intellectually, yes, I could understand. But in, like in terms of like the inner mind, in like inner struggle and all of that, it's only when like over the years, then I can actually see my 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 the state that I'm in. And you say like you know the solution was the marriage blessing, and I was blessed and I started you know uh, life in two thousand eleven. So it's about 10 years now. The more I go this way, the more I just see, like you say, everything that you point out, all this original state, that expression of the heart, the more I go, the more I found I don't have it. So in that sense, like, I like try to find it out even from father's words and all of that, but I felt there is some kind of, I don't know the word, like probably the way I understand it is something with my antenna, I'm not receiving, even the word is coming. So I'm struggling more with, not about the explanation part of it, but the heart that's trying to receive this. Something is not, I mean, I'm not saying like, 
I don't feel at all, but it comes and go. But in the, in, in, for the most part, it's still undeveloped and it's still corrupted and it's still clouded. So my, my question is not so much about the explanation, but the actual application and the actual realization of that ex original expression of art. I would say that for members, we are more in the corrupted realm than the, the undeveloped. Okay. I'm sorry to say. Okay, uh, yes. True, yes. Actually, the more I felt, the more corrupted, like like you say, original, like actually, there's so much corrupt that I, at least I'm like feelings more than like I'm not aware of it. I know of it, but it's like like the contradiction and the I would say like, yeah, like you say, the corrupted part of it, it's so, it's so, at times it could be pretty intense. So, so for, for members, hmm. especially blessed members, the longer you are in the church, you will find that what I share with you sometimes Many times, they will say that, hmm, I don't think, I don't think so. Because our heart is so corrupted. When I say corrupted, <laughs> it means we have a lot of resentment. True, yes. We have so much resentment. We have more resentment than people who are not blessed. <laughs> Sorry. True, exactly. Actually, it's so true. I, I never found myself like asking those questions. But now I'm asking all those questions. And one of the things in our first meeting that you mentioned is we are supposed to be a unification church movement. But look at the reality. We are so divided. Yep. So divided. So that's my question is like, despite our best effort, and I believe everyone's original mind prompts us to go towards the original ideal, but why is the reality so, I mean, the more I go, the more I see, the more struggles, the more division, the more, how do I say, like, like I'm, not, I'm not saying this to blame anyone. Mm -hmm. I find myself inside, the more I look at myself, even my relationship with my wife and my kids, I find it almost and like St. Paul said, my mind wants to follow, but my body just go the opposite. And that's the, I don't know, I have to say that's what I'm seeing more than the unity of the mind and the body. So when I developed uh, this series, Hmm. I was entirely focused on restoration of heart. Okay. But then I realized you cannot talk about restoration without talking about principle of creation in terms of heart. Right. So I said, no. First, you have to ask yourself, hmm. we have original expression of the heart. Two yes. stages, we fell from the top of the growth stage. Hmm. Deep down in every one of us, we have the divine spark. It may be just a spark. Mm -hmm. I attended IAPD. Mm -hmm. Bishop Stalling was given a question. <laughs> mm. How come true mother 
he's going around the world giving blessing and all that. And he, 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 he gave uh, amazing, amazing response. He said, true mother can see the divine spark in every single one. He believes that every single one, whether it's African, whether it's from Middle East, from Latin America, doesn't matter where. We have a divine spark. So I feel that we have to begin to ask ourselves and recognize that we have that divine spark. Otherwise, there's no hope. So how to, how to uh, go through the path of restoring our heart with the original expression of God's heart? Without that, what hope do we have? We have to believe that we are sons and daughters of God. Mm. That we fell, yes. But the blessing was supposed to change the blood lineage, but we never focus on really inculcating, cultivating this heart. Never. In fact, we, we spend all the time cultivating our fallen heart more and more. No less and less, more and more. We never cultivate our, you know, divine heart. Never. This original expression of the heart, we never. Never talk about it. So we become shameless. We have no tears. Not even in our heart. Not even, no physical tears and no tears in our heart. No smile, no laughter. We don't feel bad about anything. We hurt one another every day. We hurt God. We hurt our loved ones. Yeah, that's, that's who we are. Our lifestyle has not changed. We have not changed the ownership from Satan's ownership to God's ownership. We have not done that. And we are so busy because True Parents is so busy trying to bring about worldwide, global, you know, cosmic. So we become like, unfortunately, you know, sacrificial lamb. Unfortunately. But this is a new era. We cannot continue like this. We have to again ask ourselves who we are. Are we sons and daughters of God? If we are sons and daughters of God, why is it that we keep, you know, we have so much resentment towards one another, especially our loved ones? We are so you see, we have become so sensitive to ourselves, to our own pain and suffering, completely insensitive to everyone else's pain and suffering. We are very sensitive, you know, but we are very sensitive about our own pain and suffering, completely insensitive about other people's pain and suffering. Is this Father's way? No. Is this true parents way? No. You're supposed to live for the sake of others, and yet we are so focused on our pain and suffering. So we become more and more resentful. So how to deal with resentment? So that's restoration of heart. Uh, and I don't want to start with restoration of heart for new guests because you would drive them away. <laughs> <laughs> you start saying that, you know, you have all the resentment in the world, right? <laughs> you think they will come back? <laughs> for you and for us, we're a blessed couple. Yeah, I have to say it out plain and simple because, you know, hey, you say, you know, uh, you're, you're trying to say that basically what you are sharing here will give me hope. Uh, but I'm... Every day I'm filled with resentment more than anything else. So I have to deal with it, right? 
but for new guests, I cannot talk about this. And I'm sorry. You know, yes. go next door to the other church. You know, they don't talk about uh, resentment. They talk about love all day, all night. You know, <laughs> they will go to that church. <laughs> you right. talk about resentment. You talk about God's agony, God's suffering. God's uh, 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 is uh, is our church is a crying church. Yeah, huh? I'm sorry to say, uh, uh, many of us may even leave. Uh, but that's why Father said, you know, you have to laugh while you experiencing pain and suffering. So how do you do that? That's a, that's a, that's the main question, right? For us. <laughs> yes. But for new guests, they they are they are new beginning. Mm. You have to give them hope. Yes. <laughs> Let me take this call. Sure. Robert, uh, can I call you back? <laughs> yeah, I'll call you back, huh? I'm in a Zoom a meeting. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Have I have I responded to your your? Yes. Yeah. Right. I think it's it's a it's a it's it's uh I, I know what you're saying. It's it's uh yeah. Obviously, you know, there is the the part you know about you know like you know bringing in people and all of that. But I think my 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 question is more about unless we I clean up my inner self, no matter what I do to bring new people, they can sense it too, no? Of course. I mean, that's, that's you can't less, hide it. The less we show uh, them, uh, the older members, the better it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. You know, uh, uh, it, it's best. It's best. Uh, uh, in, in this sense, this is this. This doesn't work. You know. So the thing is that, you know, if we are if we are people of heart. People will gravitate to us. We don't have to go out and witness, you know. <laughs> right. I mean, in a natural People sense, come and say, you know, right. I don't know what you are teaching, but you know, somehow, I, someone asked me to come here. Okay, mm -hmm. so please let me know uh, what you want to share with me. Yes. <laughs> Has it happened? <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Can can yes. Others okay. uh, express their uh, or criticize whatever, you know. Go ahead. Okay. One comment. Yeah, please. Uh, I I think this is such a great opportunity to really think about uh, what's going on in ourselves. This can, this kind of meeting should have in our within a membership more because each day we deal with uh, many things and with the other members and we we feel is that good or is not good or uh, am i judging this person or is she judging this person well, so many questions but we don't have opportunity to really deal with this kind of uh, things that are going around within us we, but of course we are trying to restore ourselves but how much uh we try to make it happen because we just externally we are somewhat busy here and there but then through that are we growing ourselves or are we restoring our hearts so if people are really interested in this kind of stuff, I think we should have this kind of meeting, even though they, they don't, they, they might not be interested in, but I feel everybody should come and uh, think about what's going on with themselves. Just, uh, just ignore, ignoring it, 
because we try to ignore it, then we suffer somewhere and we cannot keep going or you know, stuff like that. So yeah. And then I was thinking, so if there's no fall, there was no shame. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's that's where we are going to, right? <laughs> no shame. But anyway. But I was thinking there are so many ways that people are showing how to uh, cultivate our hearts. But then, yeah, they're not really including God as our parents. So I feel so much limitation uh, about those uh, solutions that people in this world is showing us. And uh, yeah, that's, that's even though they might be deep, but they cannot completely solve, you know, solve the problems of us. And uh, um, yeah, because anyway, our purpose is we try to live with God eternally. So somewhere in the, everybody's life, we need to come to this point that uh, we need to include God in our lives. So, yeah, we can say our heart is crafted. <laughs> I admit that. <laughs> but then through the blessing, the uh, relationship with husband, uh, we can know what, what we are going, how can I say it? Our fallen natures. And then, of course, people in this world every marriage, people think uh, their situations, but I don't know how they take it. How can I say, how they take that situation is that because of the husband's fault, that's why I'm suffering, or because of the wife's fault, I'm suffering. Maybe in this world, they think that way, but our, our way is not like that through the blessing, we can reflect ourselves with the two parents' words and we can try to overcome the whole nature. So I think that's a, such a blessing for us. Anyway, that's my, uh, that's what I was feeling or thinking well, I'm listening to you, so thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. I have just a comment. Uh, mm -hmm. I think, yeah, it's, it's like a very important content, especially like you are, you know, focusing on your heart. Like heart is most important. And then when you talk about shame, uh, that does not like the thing uh, like that. Was um, made me think. Think of shame, you, you know, oh, my name, all the all the hard emotions. You know, like, there will be all kind of emotions. Is it not all? Why reason? I think the reason, I mean, why do I feel shame? Is it like I felt shame yesterday because I was uh, spending too much time the cooking in the morning and then <laughs> came late to the office, like that kind of thing. Like when, like usually I feel shame when I do something bad or not enough. But you say God shame is you don't love enough or give enough or something. 
so made me think, oh, wow, okay, like, yeah, like, uh, or yeah, left our tears, you know, when, how, like, when I feel those emotions. I think it's important to reflect. Um, like, yeah, otherwise, you know, um, yeah, I think it's very important, like how, how we live this life. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's it, I think. Thank you so much. I just want to say that uh, uh, this presentation basically is uh, to introduce some a proposal, what to share and how to introduce someone to uh, divine principle from introducing a heart and the original expression of the heart, okay? Which I believe is very important because we introduce divine principle and we say that our most essential character is our heart, and yet we don't talk about our heart. So, and this is, people are suffering. Young people are suffering. They go through so much suffering. They have pain and suffering as well. But we don't deal with the most essential character that God blesses with, which is our heart. Also for blessed members and older members, don't get me wrong, you know, I'm not saying that we should, uh, uh, the reason the restoration of heart is so important is because I feel for your pain and suffering. And somehow God put me through maybe a little bit more pain and suffering so that I can understand God's heart more and true parents' heart more and understand what is it that the uh, heavenly parent want me to focus on so that I can subjugate Satan in my life, how, how I can subjugate my fallen nature. I believe there's to some extent, I, I've been able to gain some victory and I, I, I want to share it with a blessed couple, you know, with all the members. Because we are in the same boat. You know, we, we all have so much resentment, you know. So how we can resolve this resentment, resentment based on two parents' words, some kind of formula course we need to go through. That's... Uh, that's the original purpose of me <laughs> developing the restoration of heart, you know? Uh, but since this is to talk about how we can introduce to new people, so the focus is more on in terms of, uh, but also this content is also, I will use the same content for ACLC as well. I was supposed to give a presentation yesterday, but uh, <coughs> it didn't take place. So, uh, but it's going to be uh, based on similar content, but maybe the focus is different. So, because I believe that restoration of heart that I will share with you is based on Jesus' foundation, Jesus' victory. Father took the foundation of Jesus, inherited that foundation, individual level and expanded it to family level, you know, and worldwide level, cosmic level. So uh, 
I want to share with ACLC Christian ministers is because I want to bring them into another level, especially those who receive the blessing. You know? And through my talk with uh, my brother Fujita, I went into the absolute sex and uh, developed presentation for Christian ministers so they can understand what the blessing is all about. There's a biblical foundation. But then the problem is still how they can change the ownership of their life to God. How to move from the realm of heart of Satan to the realm of heart of God. This is what restoration of heart is all about. So uh, I hope you understand. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not trying to put you down in any way. Okay. Uh, really, I'm not. Uh, I'm. I go on morning devotion. <laughs> many, many uh, senior members or Japanese members would say. Oh, you're so calm, you know. You have a very peaceful uh, nature. So I always say to them, uh, inside is a turbulent ocean. <laughs> and maybe I learned from uh, true parents' words, uh, how, to, uh, how to put up a smile when, when, when there's fury uh, of, have, of, of hell in me. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not saying that just to joke around. Uh, yeah, uh, really. We can smile when we are in pain and suffering. <laughs> it's the only way to deal with Resentment. So I already shared with you before, you know, if you need how to laugh, then you cannot laugh, you know. Join a laughing club. Maybe set up a, a laughing club. Learn it from, learn it from a, a, a club that started in India. Really, they, they, they do nothing but laugh. <laughs> <laughs> really, they don't read anything. They just laugh and laugh and laugh, you know. You know? Just, <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, you know, people go there, they come out, they, they go in, they don't like to laugh, you know, but they come out laughing. <laughs> Their heart wants to laugh, you know. So uh, it's one way to develop a laughing heart, you know, when you don't want to laugh or you, you have nothing to laugh about. <laughs> Maybe you can physically laugh, and then you will find that you have a laughing heart. <coughs> when you have nothing to smile about, and you have everything to frown about, maybe we should just smile. Really, that's what I do, you know, when I'm so depressed. I look in the mirror, and I smile at myself, and I smile to heavenly parent. I'm OK. It works, I'm telling you. Really, it works. If it doesn't work, I wouldn't say it, you know, it works. Smile and laugh. For me, it works. Every morning I have to find something to be grateful. It's very difficult to be grateful, you know. Every morning I, I join a morning devotion. <laughs> but I think it's much easier to smile and much easier to laugh, you know. I'm not saying we shouldn't be grateful. Don't, don't misunderstand me, you know? I'm just saying that try to smile and laugh even though you have nothing to smile and laugh about. You find that your life in the morning, you know, you first thing you wake up, you go and look at yourself in the mirror and smile at yourself, smile to God, you know? It works, I'm telling you. We'll come to the restoration part uh, uh, of heart uh, a little bit later, but uh, this part is more, 
uh, original expression of God's heart. I'm feeling so impatient. I really want to know more. <laughs> I, but like I said to you, Brianna, you know, you want to deal with pain and suffering? Sorry. Yeah. Only way yeah. you have to go through pain, <laughs> except you, this pain has some direction. You will lead you out of uh, uh, a worthless, uh, a worthless pain and suffering. Yeah. Yeah, but I, yeah, I feel like, I don't know if it's my impatience or what, but I, I feel excited about it. I, I, I want to, I have a longing feeling to learn more to, I mean, to me, yeah, when I think of the, these things, it feels like the kingdom of heaven, like that kind of place that those kind of people live there so i'm yeah i'm anxious and of course yeah i know i'm high i'm walking contradiction all the time too you know and i yeah i think i i'm very aware of my um lacking so but i'm also i feel very serious about um the time that we're living in and the fact that, you know, everything is so divided, but true parents, we are the ones who, we are the so-called children of true parents. So I feel the responsibility is is in us, all of the UC members everywhere to, to inherit and to, to teach the world. Because if we don't, if we don't get it, there's no way, there's no way, how, how can the ones who don't know anything about true parents mm -hmm. get it? So I, um, yeah, I feel very serious about, about that point. And I don't, I feel very urgent. I don't, I don't know if, if it's, <laughs> I don't, it's just my heart. Like I even want to cry talking about it, but I feel very urgent. So, yeah. Anyway, I can feel how many parents painful heart when how many parents look at all of us, you know? We are, we are blessed members. We are Chongbo members. We're supposed to be sons and daughters of God. True father in heaven must be so sorrowful when he looked at us. And I always remember what he said because we trusted him. We believe in him. He will never, never Forget us. He will never. He will go to the ends of the world and ends of the spirit world in hell. If necessary. So you have to understand. How many pa parent is like Dr. Young always mentioned, is in the bottom layer of hell. Not, not in heaven. So I'm not saying you, we should all go and commit sin and then go to the bottom level <laughs> so that we can meet God. <laughs> <laughs> but really, yeah, uh, we are so pitiful. But we cannot be pitiful. We have to feel God's love for us, true parents' love for us, true father's love for us. And we have to lift ourselves up. We have to help one another. There's no other way. I read father's words all the time, you know. And there's so many, you know, I remember Mrs. Ward gave one sermon. For me, I feel that's very relevant. He says, there's so many volumes of father's words. Why, why can't we have like Buddhism eightfold path, you know? Yeah. 
Ten Commandments. That's it. Follow the Ten Commandments. That's it. You know? But we have to go through 400, 500 volumes of Father's words. So for me, is that, okay, what is most essential? Now, many of us use uh, <laughs> software. You know, you take the manual, it's so thick, you know? But you only use only uh, maybe 10 pages of the <laughs> manual, <laughs> you know? Maybe we should, in the same way, Father, okay, there are 500 volumes. I know, very important, you know, <laughs> everything is important. But give me 10 pages, you know? Summarize it so that I, my life can relate to your word. Formula costs, you know? So I don't know, I'm, I feel that because I come from Buddhist background, I'm trying to make sense and say, okay, look, you know, there is, okay, 10 pages or maybe uh, one page, you know, to start with, you know? Read and read and read and read again. And then, we have original spark in our life, in our heart. <laughs> Let's hope. That's my, uh, for, for all other members, I can feel your pain and suffering. Really, I can really can feel. So, I didn't know what God wants me to do in Vegas, you know? <laughs> but God no. somehow arranged for me to meet with uh, Brother Fujita, okay? I, I don't care what, whether he's notorious or not notorious, you know? For me, <laughs> that if I can help, if I can help a blessed couple, uh, yeah, I, I would do it. It doesn't matter. If you want to uh, find new uh, guests, uh, they need to come back to God also. They need to uh, live a life that uh, brings glory and victory to God and true parents and, and bring peace of mind in their life, you know? They also need that. So it doesn't matter whether it's, you know, Brother Fujita's tribe or whatever it is. Who want to listen, I, I will share. <laughs> I, I don't care, you know? We're all uh, one family under God, you know. He's the one who, who, who said to me, I, I want to listen. I want to know more, you know. Yeah. I go to people and say, you know, I have something to share. I say, I'm not interested. It's your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. No problem. <laughs> or they, they want to listen and say, hmm, what can I use this to benefit my group, you know. Or myself, if, if people want to use this, you know, for themselves, I'm telling you, <laughs> Satan will judge that individual <laughs> terribly, <laughs> terribly. I am not. I, I'm not trying to threaten anybody. No, really, nobody can can use God's truth for their own benefit, cannot. I'm not, I'm not afraid. <laughs> if you succeed, God will succeed, true parents will succeed. Amen, you know? And I'm not the one, I'm just, uh, how to say, I plant the seed and you, you, are, you are supposed to plant more seed, you know, and others. And then it will, you don't have to, Sorry to say, I'm, I'm not, not against workshop, okay? We are in an era where I don't think we need to put people through 40 days workshop, 120 days workshop. No, I don't think so. It's era hundoke, you know? More important, going workshop era is over, you know? Workshop is every morning, every day the devotion. 
So if you can bring back someone to listen to your online community or whatever, or come to your center, you're planting seed already. And then he will plant seed. And, and, and he, if his heart, you know, develop, he will invite more people, right? He will invite his friends, his family. So I feel that planting seeds. I hope okay. you will plant the seeds with me. <laughs> because this is, this is, you are talking about is basically, uh, I don't think I'm sharing anything that is for me, you know? It's, it's from, uh, for me, it's from how many parents, from two parents. <laughs> is the first session okay? Is it too long now? It's, okay. it's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I, I, I have to, uh, the audience is uh, uh, blessed members or older members, you know? So I have to address the older members' needs as well, you know? So uh, restoration of heart is uh, very, very important, you know? Um, I'm hopeful. Oh, you're hopeful. Okay, good. I'm hopeful. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I just throw everything out. Uh, good, I'm hopeful. good, good. I, I like people I to think, throw everything out. I just want me. to be honest. I don't want to like, oh, just like, oh, it's nice. No, no, I'm going to throw everything. So if you ask me, you want me to challenge, I will challenge everything because oh, I think please, those challenges need to be addressed. If not, I think we're just living, I think we're just living a lie, just pretending yes. all the time. Right. There's all the shit that's happening inside us inside me and I want to deal with that. How am I supposed to share God's love when I'm like, oh, you know, just bring people here and then I'm dealing with my shit. And I, I, I mean, I'm not saying that, like you say, you know, like the turmoil of, oh, it's going to always be there. It's a battle. But I'm just, I want to know genuinely it's true. I can be honest about it. I'm not saying to be perfect about, you know, like, oh, I'm so loving. You know, I, I'll still have anger and resentment. But the thing is, how do I deal with that? How do you actually deal with that? Because if you can deal with that, then, you know, there's hope. If we're just talking about it, oh, you know what? Oh, that's resentful. Oh, that person is just resentful. And then we just walk away. Oh, that's Amen. that person's problem. It's not, no, I'm dealing with that. And I know God is going through, putting me in that situation because we have to deal with that. We have to clean that up. Can just continue to like, oh yeah, it's, oh, father, father, but, why is the reason? Why is the fruit? We, I have to be the fruit. If I can be the fruit, I'm just, I'm relaying the message. Okay, it's your responsibility, but you know what? I'm still going through the shit that I'm going through, you know? <laughs> I have to be clear up. I'm not saying like, oh, I'm going to be just like, oh, I just want to be happy. No, no, I'm sure it's a battle. Like you say, you know, like, you know, it's, it's, you go through that and, you know, uh, but what you say, I think has a lot of hope because I felt like, yeah, we, we need to look at the original expression, even the word shame. It sounds like you say in the first meeting, it sounds kind of very negative, mm -hmm. but actually it's, it's an original expression of God. And for me, that was actually, that was my first encounter when I was praying and God was saying, I'm so sorry. I was so surprised. I was not expecting that. I thought God's like, oh, I'm happy you're here. Okay, let's do something. No, but actually the immediate first feeling I got when I, after I, because I remember my, my brother was is my spiritual parent. So, so he, he told me like, oh, you, mean you can ask God. I said, how do you talk to God? He said, oh, you just call, like, just like I talk to anyone. You just ask God, you know? So what do I ask? Like, I don't even know. Like I'm thinking how to, Ask God and say, oh, you can just be said, you can ask, how are you? You know, so I asked God, how are you? And his first thing was, I'm so sorry. And I just started crying. It was not like an, uh, uh, an explanation. It just, he feels sorry for what's happened, like, you know, what we have to go through. 
what we the state that we are in but in in a loving way in a lo loving way it's not like a it's not like 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 you know condemning it's, it's really a loving way i'm sorry and i felt i i started just crying because there was there was god god feel pain and he couldn't even share that then i realized even in our life sometimes I want to share only the happy stuff with people. And I don't want to share any painful stuff with anyone. The only person I share my painful stuff is my wife. And then she doesn't understand. We just fight. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> and in your, origin, your first meeting, you say, you know, we should be able to laugh with God, cry with God, you know, like share everything with God and all of that. And I was like, yeah, it's true. But I can't really do that with my parents so much. I mean, now I'm better, but still there's some, like you said, there's still that wall, certain wall. I mean, it has come down, <laughs> but you can still tell there is something, some wall there. And how can we tear down those wall? And I think that wall between me and God, I have to tear down that wall too. And maybe the relationship with other people will, will, will manifest, you know, but right now, yeah, so anyway, it's a hopeful thing. I'm throwing out this, not like in a... Thank you. Yeah, not not like I'm trying to find fault or trying to, but I, I felt it's, and I'm I'm looking forward. I'm, I want to hear. Yeah, like you say, it's probably not the first meeting kind of presentation. It's more like, because <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> some really ugly stuff I think we need to talk about. Maybe a bit later. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm not I'm not impatient. I mean I have been like okay, and that God has His timing. So now it's just just like you say, just let's laugh about it first and smile about it, even though it's painful. It's okay. Let's do that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You know this is really uh what Reverend Du said. It's like uh, for in in which that he's talking about, I feel this is a really image that even though you're trying to say to new people, but for us to really image activity to deal with really deep in our hearts, so that we can really do true image, we just don't do just externally, just say hi or just be together after church. It's more like we can work together, you know, looking at ourselves. So, yeah, so I'm really grateful for this opportunity. Thank, Thank you. you man. Well, <laughs> anybody want to uh, say anything before we uh, conclude? Well, we can arrange another session uh, after this, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I hope, Brianna, uh, this session is, uh, gives you some idea of uh, what, what you should put together for new guests, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Even though a lot of the content is more in terms of restoration or heart, but, uh, yeah. but uh, you can see that you know, when new guests come, they have their own pain and suffering and, res you know, and resentment as well, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yes, absolutely. You cannot run away from that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and our purpose is basically, uh, ultimately, is to help them. Help them to come back to their original, origin, their heart. And then hopefully they can find God, like, uh, you know, Bastam, you, you found God again, uh, to a simple way, you know? I'm not saying that you, you don't have God in your life. It's just that God spoke to you in a very real way. And so, thank you. <laughs>
Okay. So, um, so Brianna will let us know. In the yeah. Next session. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're a busy uh, working people. Thank you so much for okay. uh, attending. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.